Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello. You hear me? Good guys? evening. Hey, good evening. Uh, good evening question that I always ask you before I start the class. Can you hear me clearly or is there any type of interference in the background? Can you listen to me clear? Yes, teacher. Perfect, thank you very much. All right, guys, thank you so much for the ones that are always on time or the ones that are like minutes after or before we start the class. So thank you very much for your responsibility and for the ones that just connected Thank you also for being there on time. So uh, today, guys, we are going to still continue with the simple past, but today we're going to focus on irregular verbs. Let me ask you, did you study the verbs today? Did you study the verbs at least five minutes or three minutes, something like that? Or honestly, you didn't do it? Honestly, teacher, I'm not. I am job. Okay. All right. So what about the others? Did you guys study the verbs at least five minutes or something like that? No? Yes, teacher. I studied. Uh, when did you up on my thing? I listen in my, in my car. Okay, that's 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 perfect. All right. Yeah, but in the free time, mm -hmm. it's very difficult for. Um, trataba de ver. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you the driver. Okay. Yeah, I know it's complicated. I know it's complicated because I mean I understand that you work during the day that some of you are really busy during the day. And this is the only time that you probably have to study or to do something related to the English language. But uh, I do appreciate for those who try to do your best, I understand it's not gonna be easy, but it will be worth it, okay? Vale la pena, it's worth it. So, um, all right, so as I told you yesterday, we were going to have a brief practice, 10 minutes practice. So the ones that are already here, please take a paper and a pen right now, okay? Because we are going to practice the verbs. And please, I will request part of your honesty. I don't want you to go to Google. I don't want you to go to Google Translator or something like that. Be honest with yourself, okay? Because if you don't know, you don't know. If you know, you know. So don't try to lie to yourself and try to be honest. The knowledge that you have is because you know what. If you don't know what, it's okay. You will probably learn that in the future, but you don't have to lie to yourself, okay? Great. So are you guys ready? Is everyone ready? Yes. Are you ready, teacher? Excellent. That's the attitude that we need for today. Okay, so Ingrid, I mean, I didn't connection from. Oh, Ingrid, are you from Usulutan? Yes, I know I'm from Usulutan too, and it's raining here, so I understand. Okay, Um. all right, so let's see. Let me see. Oh, I see that people are still connecting, so we're just going to wait for them to connect. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, for the one that just connected, uh, I need you to have a paper with a pen or pencil in your hands because we are going to have a practice regarding to the regular verbs, okay? So please try to, try to have that. And the instructions are the following ones. I will repeat the verb two times or twice. If I see that you are lost, Probably I will repeat him the third time, but I do not guarantee that I will. I, I have a question, teacher. What's your question? Uh, I write in the past. Of really? course, in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I will tell you the verb in present. Voy a decir el verbo en presente, so you write it in the past. Okay. Perfect. 
So it's going to be a list of 10 verbs, no more than that. I will repeat it twice. Remember, if I see that you're still struggling, I will probably repeat it a third time, but I do not guarantee that I will do it in that way. Okay, so if you are guys ready, let me go ahead and start with the number of one. Want. Want. Okay, if anyone is having a bad connection, please let me know now. I don't want you later on to tell me, oh, teacher, I didn't listen to the verbs because I didn't have a good signal or my internet was not working. If it is not working, tell me now so I can know that you will probably don't, will not understand. So are we all set with the internet connection? Does any one of you have internet problems or some kind of issues with the connection to internet? No? Okay, so I guess that that was a no. So we're going to start, well, well we're going to continue. Uh, offer, offer. The next one, keys, keys. Now, we did three already, already. Ya hicimos tres. Ahora vamos a cambiar la dinámica. Now, I will say it in Spanish, and you will have to write that in English. Why? Porque si lo seguimos haciendo de esta manera, está fácil solo ir, irle agregando ed, right? Ed, 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 simple. Todos van a salir bien. But now we're going to change just a little bit for me to verify that, of course, that you know a little bit, okay? It's your time to show me. So we're going to do four in, like, in this category, see? ¿sí? Vamos a hacer cuatro o cinco de esta forma. So... Let's see how it goes. Necesitar. Necesitar. Please be honest, okay? I will request your honesty. Hay que ser honesto, si no ir al Google Translator. Do not do that. Okay, now let's go with the next one. Llamar. Llamar. I'm so, uh, you want to say something, Anna? Okay, no, estoy actuando honestamente. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you know it, you know it. If you don't know it, you don't know it. That's 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 okay. That's why we call it practice. Let me see. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, well, I see people that are still connecting, so they don't know what we're doing. Okay, guys, for the one that just connected, let me tell you that we are doing a practice about regular verbs. So I need you to have pen or pencil and paper, of course, with you. So now this round, I will, I'm saying the verbs in Spanish. And of course you will have to translate that into English in past, simple past. Okay, that's what we're uh, doing right now. All right, so let's move on. Lavar. Lavar. Teacher, uh, what, I have a question. Uh, we write in the simple past? Or yeah, simple. In the, okay, oh, thank, thank you. Simple past, yeah. I am confused about that right, uh, right now. All right, how many do we have right now? 
How many do we have? Three. Three, okay. Three. Let's go with the next one. Uh, bailar. This is really easy. Esto todos ya saben, ¿verdad? Bailar. Okay, try to, I don't know who has the microphone on, try to, because there's a, a little bit of interference. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now let's move on to the next one, which is ver, but, listen, ver, but devices such as television, such as cell phone, such as computer, ver, referring to electronic devices. So I guess we have five right now, right? Or four. Yes, it's a red five. Five, all right. So now, how many do we have in total? Do we have uh, eight? Yes, yes. Eight. eight. Okay. Now, let me see. Just give me another one. All right. So the last two, how are we going to do that? The last two is going to be uh, two verbs. The ones that you have that you think you can write freely. Libremente ustedes pueden escribir dos. That's it. All right. So once you're done, so please take a picture or a screenshot depending on what you're working and send it through the WhatsApp group like right now. So we are 25 on the call. I'm expecting to receive 25 pictures. Please write your name down on the picture so I will know who you are. Because if you don't write it down, then I'm, I will be just guessing who you are. Done, teacher. Okay, I receive. Uh, I received some already. All right, I'm just getting some of you already. I cannot be checking all of them, so please, if you if you already send that, say something like "send" or "done," so I know that you already did it. Are you guys done? Okay, I guess the majority of you already sent that. We got more than one minute already. So what you had to do was just to send a picture and that's it. It doesn't take that much. So we're going to move on with today's class, guys. We're still going to be talking about the simple past, but today we're going to move on to the irregular verbs, okay? So today we're going to try to understand some rules, some situations that goes uh, along with irregular verbs. Remember what, let me see, what is one of the characteristics that you can remember about irregular verbs? 
Is there something that you can tell me about irregular verbs before we go to the main topic? Solo uno, verdad? Too many. Too many. Yes. Teacher, change the font, the right in the past. Okay. That that's something good. So what is the what is the simple past, Elliot? If someone asks you, hey, what's the simple past? What would you say? Con los verbos irregulares. No. If someone asks you, what's the simple past? Ah. You. What would you say? Escape. Escape. Okay. What about you, William? What do you think? If someone asks you about simple past, what would you say? What's the simple past for you? Um, yes, teacher, good evening. Uh, good evening. When the world's ending in, in T, T, the pronunciation is in uh, IT. Uh -huh. and, when the word ending, when the word ending in uh, uh, B, uh, uh, consonant. Es correcto. Se me ha ido la palabra K. P, ajá. P, K, E, E, S. H, G, H, T, H, double S. The pronunciation is in T. T, okay. When the words ending in L, M, R, G, V, S, Y, G, and C. The pronunciation is in, 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 in D, digamos, la D al final. Mm -hmm. oh. teacher. Okay, thank you very much for that. Elmer, what is simple past for you? Um, I think teacher, I use the simple for the finished activities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for activities that are already finished. And yes, Ingrid, that's pretty much what you said on the chat. That's an action that started on the, on the past and it's already finished. They never, irregular verbs, never uh, finish with ED. So we're going to go uh, to what we have today, guys. It's irregular verbs so let me share the screen with you so you can have any idea what i'm talking about so let's see this is what we have for today and let's move on directly to the part that matters so again here we have once again some things that are going to help us to understand simple past uh, the expressions that are always going to be there we have been seeing this same slide since we started in the simple past. So every single time that we see something related to it, I will always show you this. So you already know it, so I'm going to move on to the next one. So once again, here are some examples of irregular verbs. Let me see if you remember how, I mean, these are the easiest ones that we have. Why? Because in these ones, we just change one vowel and that's it. Become, became, give, gave, drive, drove, forget, forgot. So as you can see, it's simply one small letter, in that case, a vowel, that changes. Then everything stays pretty much in the same thing. So those are the easiest ones. How to identify an irregular verb? An irregular verb is always going to be identified because they will never ever end with ed. Why? Because as we said before, they have their own form in the simple past. 
there are some things that we will have to understand or rules, which are not necessarily a rule, but it will be necessary for you to remember them. So how do we learn irregular verbs? In this case, irregular verbs, because they don't follow a specifically a rule, so you will have to learn them by force, to memorize them actually, because there's not a way for you to remember so, like, like in the, in the regular verbs that you know that what you do is just to add ed at the end and that's it, depending on, um, on the endings. But in these ones, you will have to learn them. So let's move on. And let's see here some other differences that we have. We saw these ones before and we have here. Let me see if you guys remember how to pronunciate that. Can I have a volunteer? Me teacher. Go ahead, please. And then Simple. With, and we go with Carlos, okay? First, teach. First of all, the simple and then the past. Okay. Teach. Taus. Mm -hmm. Sigo. Yes. The list. Bra brain. Mm -hmm. Bro. Mm -hmm. Live. Left. Hair. Okay. Hair. Mm -hmm. Hair. Hair. Bye, boy. Bye, okay. Ed. Bye, yes. Bo. Okay. Bo. Now, let me listen to uh, Carlos Rivas. Uh, well, Carlos, we can only listen to a whistle. I don't know if you're whistling or or is your connection, which is not really working? Well, no, we, we cannot listen to you, Carlos. I don't know if you're speaking or if you're trying to say something, but it's not working. So Cecilia, Cecilia de Hernandez, go ahead. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Teach, thought, brain, brow, lip, Left, here, here, by, bow. Okay, that was good. Really good. Actually, we just have a little situation on bring. It was not that clear your pronunciation, but the others were really, really good. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Now, William. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Teach, taught, bring, brought, live, Left, here, heard, by, both, both. Thank you. That was that was excellent. That was a really good pronunciation of the verbs. Okay. Then we go teach, taught. Remember that taught is not taught. Never taught. Bring, brought, leave, left, here, heard, by, bought. That's it. So we have an example here. Celia bought a new cell phone last weekend, okay? So this is just a matter of an example. So uh, as you can see, guys, identifying the verbs in simple past is not, is not difficult. It's pretty easy. Once you know how to, how to make the changes or, or how to do some changes, it will be really easy for you to create sentences, to change the verbs to simple past, of course, you will have to study a little bit for you in order for you to, uh, to do that correctly. So let's move on to the next part. And here we have some rules which are not necessarily a rule, but it will be important that you know that. So in this part, guys, we have verbs which don't change. What does it mean? There will be some verbs, of course, we will see a list later on, but these verbs will never change in simple past. So you might, you might be wondering, or you could ask yourself, like, so how am I going to identify that I'm talking in past? Easy, 
the context you're talking about is going to give you the idea or probably some expressions such as last weekend, such as ago, last, uh, last Saturday, last Monday, and so on and so on. Those expressions are going to help you identify that you're talking in past. Why? Because as you can see here, it doesn't change. So in the present, we say cut. In the past, we say cut. Hit, hit. Fit, fit. It doesn't change. So that's why I was telling you, how are you going to identify when you're talking in past and when you're talking in present if both of them are written in the same way? So how, how are you going to do that? Easy. You're going to be guided by the context. The context of the sentence is going to give you the idea that you're talking in the past or obviously time expressions. Okay, now in number two, we have verbs which only change their vowel. We just saw some previous verbs in which we saw that we were just changing one vowel. We have some others here, such as get, got, drink, drunk, sit, sat. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, do you guys have any questions so far or are we okay with the information? Yes, teacher is clear. Clear, thank you. Now let's move on to number three, which it says verbs which change completely. So let me see, uh, we say catch, caught, bring, brought. That one we already know then, and teach, taught. So you already know those pronunciations. So now we're going to move on to the, to the next part, which is verbs that can have both. Estos verbos pueden tener dos formas. Pueden tener la forma regular y la forma irregular. You might ask yourself, ustedes se podrían preguntar, entonces, ¿cuál utilizo? Either one of them, cualquiera. ¿Usted siente que es mejor para usted utilizarlo en la forma regular? Use it in the regular way. If you think that it's better or easier for you to use it in the irregular form, use it in the regular form. It's up to you. So, but you have to remember that if we use it in the regular form, the pronunciation is going to be different as if you use it in the irregular form. So let me listen to someone. Um, let me see. Carlos Regalado. Carlos, can you try to make the pronunciation of the first verb? Just try to try to do it, even though, or even if it is not correct, just let me listen to you the way that you would say it, okay? Okay. Bar. Mm -hmm. Burner or mm -hmm. burr. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Iris Rahina, can you help me with number two? Dream, dream it, or drink. Okay. Joaquin, can you help me with number three? Learn. Learned or learned. Okay. Now let me see um, Boris. Help me with number four. Hank. Hank. Honk. Mm -hmm. Also hundred. Okay. Now let me see uh, Sonia Pinti. Help me with the next one. Small. Smelt or smelt. Okay. Now the last one is going to be for Vidal Amaya. Oh, Vidal Mejia, I'm sorry. Spell. Mm -hmm. Spell or spell. Thank you. Now, uh, well, apparently, aparentemente, se nos olvidaron las reglas que vimos ayer del, de los regulares. Si termina en letra N, ¿qué pronunciation do I do? D. D, so I say born, born with D. No born, no, I don't say that. 
No, I say born, born, or born with T. Now, if it ends in the letter M, si termina en una letra M, what would I say? Which song would I do? Teacher, esa es una de las preguntas que, que yeah. iba a hacer yo, porque uh -huh. en las reglas que ayer vimos no uh -huh. está la M, la E, eh, uh -huh. en las que he identificado. Entonces, son una de las palabras que tengo duda cómo se pronuncia. Yes, and this one, because these verbs, estos verbos, si al caso tenemos como dos o tres en English, that's why, and I mean, we don't use it like every single time, They're not common verbs. So the pronunciation that we're going to do when the verb ends in the letter M is going to be the letter D. So we say dreamed, dreamed, and then dreamed. That's it. And then- Y en el caso de swing? Swing, swim. Swing, nadar. Oh no, that's irregular. That's irregular. So we don't have, uh, that's not regular. We say swam in past. Yes, tiene razón. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So learn, we have learn, learned, or learned. Hang, hung, or how do we say this one? If it ends in the letter G. Hang. Hang. Hanged with D, hanged. Hanged. So smell, smell or smelt. Spell, spelled or spelt. I know that probably right now, probablemente ahorita, cuando escuchen la pronunciación, la van a escuchar de la misma manera. Probably. And you will not listen to a difference because sometimes the difference is very little, very little. And when you are not used to those sounds, it's a little bit difficult for you to identify when the pronunciation changes. But sometimes there's just very small details that change. So we have to keep in mind that these verbs that we have right here are verbs that are going to have the two forms. So they can be either regular or irregular. It will be up to you to use them in the form that is better for you. If you think that it's easier for you to use it as regular, use it. If you think that it's easier for you to use it as irregular, use it. So it will be up to you actually. Why? Because both forms are going to be correct. Are we clear on that part? Yes, teacher. Great. So if there's no questions about it, uh, we're going to move on. And here we have the full list, or we have the list of the verbs that do not change in the past. So we have some irregular verbs do not change their forms for the simple past tense and the past participle. So why do we have past participle here? ¿Por qué tenemos aquí el pasado participio? Porque el siguiente tema que vamos a ver ya no va a incluir la forma pasada, sino que va a incluir la forma del pasado participio. So it's important that you know both things. ¿Sí? I'm Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. um, en Spanish, ¿qué sería? O sea, pasado participio para nosotros. ¿Cómo it's, lo expresamos? It's, it's like, for example, if I say, yo he comido, it will be, I will be, uh, I'll, uh, I have eaten. Yo he comido, I have eaten. So esa es la forma del pasado participio. Cuando lo hablamos en Spanish, es como... Comido, jugado, cantado, bailado, things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, we are going to see that topic probably tomorrow or next week. Okay. But it's coming in. So we have to try to understand both things. But right now, let's just focus on the past. And later on, we're going to go with the past parts. So we have bet. 
bet, bet. Broadcast, broadcast, broadcast. Cut, cut, cut. Hit, hit, hit. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Let, let, let. Put, put, put. Quit, quit, quit. Read, read. This is this one here. It's just an exception. Este de acá es una excepción. Why in the past form, el verbo leer, aunque se escribe igual, pero hacemos una diferencia en pronunciación y lo pronunciamos como el color rojo. So we say red. Read, red, red. Lo pronunciamos de igual forma en past participle. So set, set, set. Shot, shot, shot. Spread, spread, spread. Okay. So is there any questions so far, guys? So far, so good. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How identified in the sentence uh, when I talk with someone when the verb is irregular in the, in the conversation? For example, I I can say, it, I cut my hair. Como, en español, ¿cómo identifico que está en pasado participio si se pronuncia igual? En pasado participio. Por, ejem por ejemplo, el verbo cut. Uh -huh. Cut, I mean, es, eh, en pasado participio es fácil porque vamos a... Depende usar... del complemento. No, en pasado participio vamos a utilizar un auxiliar que lo vamos ah, a... Ah, ok. So, ahí, ahí vamos a identificar que es past participle. Pero okay. pasado, simple past how to identify it. We are going to identify it by the context, por el contexto. Oh, okay. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if the, if the context give you an idea of the past, obviously the verb is, it's been used in the past, even though it looks like present. For example, I cut my hair yesterday. In the yesterday. There you uh -huh. have the Last expression, month or I was yeah, saying, oh, the expression oh. of time yesterday automatically is giving you the idea of the past. Of the past, okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so is there any other question? Okay, so if there's no questions, we are going to move on to a list of the verbs. So you see, here, as you can see, los irregulares cambian hasta en pasado participio. Cambian completamente. Cosa que en los regulares en pasado participio no cambia porque siempre solo he de. But in irregular verbs, they will change in past and then will change in past participle. It will be completely different. So we have arise, Arose, arisen, awake, awaked, awoke, awaked, awoken. Be, was, where, and been. Bird, bore, born, or born. Beat, bet, no, beat, beat, I'm sorry, beaten. Become, became, become. Begin, Begun, begun. Ben, bent, bent. Bet, bet, bet. Bid, bid, beaten. Bid, bid, bid. Bin, bound, bound. Bite, bit, beaten. Bleed, bled, bled. All right, so as you can see there, even in past, these, uh, the pronunciation changes in past participle also changes a little bit. So I understand that irregular verbs are going to be a little bit difficult for you to, um, to learn them all or to memorize them all. Because there are some verbs which we are not, uh, are not used that much. So that's the reason why we don't use them. So when we have the opportunity to use them, we don't know them because they are not commonly used. So let me see, can I have, let me see, one, two, three. Can I have uh, volunteers right now to make the pronunciation of those? 
Okay, help me with the first three verbs. These three. In infinitive. The three forms. Infinitive, simple past, past participle. Okay. Arise, arose, arisen. Away. Arise. We arise. say arise. Arise. Mm -hmm. Awake, awakened, awakened. Be, was, been. Okay. Now, Boris, help me with another three birds. Yes, teacher. Beer, born, born. Beep, beep, beaten. Mm -hmm. Become, became, become. Thank you very much. Now, another person. Can I have another person? Elba, I can see that you raise your hand. Please help me, Elba, with another three verbs. Okay. The game, the gun, the gun. Bell, bed, bent. Beat, beat, but beat. Okay. Here, the pronunciation of begin. Begin. Begun. It's un poquito más, más largo. Begun. So this one is bet, bet, bet. Now let me see Ana Mayora. Go ahead and help me with another three verbs, please. Bid, bid, bid. Mm -hmm. Bid, bone, bone. Bam. Bite, bit, bit. Okay. And the last one, bleed, 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 bled, bled. Okay, um, well guys, as you can see, there's there's a lot of things that we have to practice. And I understand, as I told you at the beginning, there will be um, a lot of information, a lot of verbs, actually. We will try to do our best and try to, uh, to pronunciate them, to know some differences, to know how to, how to, how to verify a list. I saw that someone shared a list of verbs on the WhatsApp group, right? So try to study that list. I didn't check that. I just saw that someone sent it to there. Uh, but it will be good if you start to study by yourself at home whenever you have the time. As I always uh, tell you, I understand that some of you are working during the day. And to make some time for you to study the verbs is actually a little bit complicated. But if you can try at least Al menos aprenderse o ponerse la meta de aprenderse o practicar un verbo por día. En 30 días van a ser 30 verbos. Si uno por día, it's not that much. Si uno por día, aunque anden todo el día, por ejemplo, empezamos con arise. Arise, arose, arising. De ahí se volvió a acordar en el día. Arise, arose, arising. ¿Qué significa? Surgir. And then we go, arise, arose, arisen. So that will be, eso va a ser algo que les va a ayudar, ¿sí? That's just a tip, es un tip, okay? Si usted se puede aprender dos o tres during the day, perfect, ¿sí? Cada quien llévelo a su ritmo. Pero el punto está en no darse por vencidos, ¿sí? De never give up. I understand it was difficult for me too when I was learning. It's not that everything comes out very easy, but if I did it, why not you? Si yo fui capaz de hacerlo, ¿por qué ustedes no? Tenemos la misma materia, el mismo cerebro, hay que ponerlo a trabajar. So never give up on that. So try to do your best, okay? So do you guys have any questions so far or not? Teacher, eh, yes. para nosotros que estamos aprendiendo, ¿cómo podemos identificar si un verbo es regular o irregular? Actually, actually, that's, that's going to be a little bit complicated the first time. Va a ser un poco complicado al inicio. Uh, lo único con lo que ustedes pueden guiarse, like right now, es, por ejemplo, los regulares ya saben las terminaciones que pueden tener. ¿Sí? So irregulars, eso pasa solo con los regulares. Los irregulares, sí, por eso les digo, va a haber que aprendérselos. Porque no hay una forma de decir, ok, este es irregular. No, aprendérselo y identificarlo luego. 
¿sí? Luego de eso se vuelve very common, se vuelve bastante común ya cuando los utilizamos, while we're speaking, it's just comes out naturally. Se viene naturalmente, and then you speak, it speak, 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 and then it's very easy. So do not focus, no, no hay que tratar de empaparnos mucho, like, like too much information, tratar de llevarlo a nuestro, a nuestro aprendizaje, a nuestro tiempo. Relax, ¿sí? Que esto no se trata de ir corriendo. Because if you do it that fast, I mean, you can learn probably, but you can distract or you can like to like to give up. Se pueden dar por vencidos si lo tratan de hacer tan rápido. Okay, just calm down, okay? So if there's no any other question, guys, we're going to go to the practice actually. So just let me stop sharing and share the practice with you because it's going to be a little bit different this time. So let me see. Okay. All right, so let me just share the screen with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Today, guys, we will also have a conversation part. Yesterday, I saw that the majority of you took a lot on the conversation. So try to, uh, try to hurry up in that part. If you don't know how to say something, just keep on moving, okay? Or if someone uh, can help you there, just... All right, so now you can take a screenshot or you can take a picture of this. Let me know when you're done so I can move to the next part. Are you done? Yes, teacher. And here. That's gonna be it. So now let me stop sharing and let's create a workout rooms. Please guys, as I tell you every single time, try to practice your English there. Try to speak in English as much as you can, okay? So please go ahead and join your rooms and I will be checking all the groups right there. So Valentin Montesino and Joanna Cristabel, are you having any type of situation or are you able to access to your group?
Italy with my family. It was so fun there. We meet lots of really nice people and ate really, really delicious food. Teacher, well, sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. El, the past the eight. Past form of. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. Understand. The, you mean the past form of comer? Yes. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Y present, ¿cómo es? Eat. Eat. Ay, sí, mm -hmm. me había confundido. Thank okay. you. Continue. Continue. Now me. Uh, Anything yes. One day we found a wallet on the beach. We took, took it to the police department. We told the police that someone lost their wallet. They took it and we left. The next day they called, called us. So we went back to the police station. Okay. Katia, next. yes. Oh, why did they call you? Okay, me. Uh, they found the owner of the wallet and uh, he wanted to meet us. He was so happy that he got his wallet back. So he bought he bought us a really nice bottle of bottle of wine. Elmer, to next. Oh, cool! You made a local a local friend. Me. Yes. Yes. We came friends and had dinner that night. The man's name was Yuri. The tall house are above the town and gave us tips. No, we knew. We, we knew. We no. It's, it's, we knew we would. Uh -huh. We knew we would be friends forever. Be friends forever. Or for it, sí. Sí, forever. Él sabía que. Uh -huh. for sí, it. es que desde allí ya yes. no, ya no, ya no me, ya no se mira bien en mí. Es que tiene una, un signo de admiración, pero es forever. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 How was your summer vacation? Great. I went to Italy with my family. With my family. It was so fun there. We went lots of really nice people and ate really delicious food. Where did you stay? We stayed at a Drunk. 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 The number one is drunk. Drunk. Con, con, con U or con A? Con, con A, verdad? Ah, drunk. Drunk. Is drink. it begin? Begin. Ver, begin, begin, begin. Esa la dijo el profe ahorita. Sí. Aquí está, vegan. Sería la I por la A se cambia, ¿verdad? Sí. Begin, vegan, begun. ¿Quién entonces? Vegan. Vegan. El com, com. Ese creo que solo le cambia la A, ¿verdad? La A sí cambia. 
Vruin. Ese no sé cómo es. Vruin sería brow. 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 Lo que estaba diciendo el teacher. Vruin. Ajá. En lugar de la I va la O. Eh, sería B R O U G H T, el que más pronunciamos con él. Ah, bro. 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 Que él le dice bro, bro, algo así. Uh -huh. Y el drone. Solo cambiaríamos la. La vocal, ¿verdad? La E. Sí, por la E. Sería bot. Bull es bot. Sí. It's for our vacation. That night. He paid for the meal because he was happy we found his wallet and God got it back to him. We knew we were big friends forever. Wow, what a great trip. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And now? Missing Melvin and Cecilia? No. No. No participé. No participé. Missing is Melvin and The second exercise. No se le oye. Ay. Hola. Say. Thank you. Okay. In the tears are civility. Okay. Okay, guys, we're just going to wait for the other ones to come back to the main session. And let me see. I would like to have uh, William with number one, Mayra, number two, Ana Noemi, number three, Sonia Pinti, number four. Let me see. Um, Vidal, number five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Then we have... Uh, Cecilia number six, then it is number seven, uh, Eliud number eight. Let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And number nine is going to be four. Um, uh, let me see. Emily Sofia. Okay, so let's go, please. Okay, teacher. Yes. Yeah, Emily, you're going to be the last one. So start with you, um, William. Yes, teacher. We drank some cava or okay. cave. No, cava. Okay, we we drank some cava. Thank you very much. Number two. We began to rain heavily. Heavily, and we say be heavily. begun. Began. Began. No, began. 
Uh -huh. It began to rain heavily. It began to rain heavily. 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 Thank you very much. Number three. Uh, who break the bus? Uh, the burden sheds because is the question, right? Mm, no, in that case, it changes. Porque este tipo de preguntas son preguntas indirectas ya que no usamos un auxiliar. All right, in this case, maybe broke the post. Bro, yes. Okay, Who broke okay. The teacher, okay. I yes. have a question. What's your question? And because Shane's no change because change the verb in this question. I have confused. The the verb doesn't change. Uh, I mean, the verb changes. The verb changes here. That's what I mean. I'm sorry, because we don't have auxiliary. And the uh, only only with auxiliary did change. No yeah. change the verb. No, when we use the auxiliary, the verb doesn't change. But when we do not use the auxiliary, the verb changes. With WH question, yes, change the verb. No, 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 because we have a WH here. Aquí tenemos una uh -huh. WH. Pero como no tenemos auxiliar, entonces el verbo sí cambia. Si yo hubiera uh... un auxiliar aquí, aunque esté con WH, no hubiese cambiado, pero solo el auxiliar me lo cambia. Ok, teacher, it's my fault in the group because <laughs> yes. I say don't change the verb. Teacher, entonces... But I confused, teacher, thank you. Ok. Teacher, one question. Quiere decir que si tuviéramos did antes, ahí sí pudiera cambiar el verbo. Yes, okay. sí cambiaría porque el auxiliar es el... Ya no se está poniendo en pasado. Yes, automatically, automáticamente. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay, number four. They built a big house. Built with the T. Built. built. They built a big house. Thank you very much. Number five. My sister do the housework. Mm, no, there the verb do. What is the pasado del verbo do? Yeah. Does. 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 No, does, no. Does es presente para tercera persona. Okay, thank you. So we say, my sister did, did the housework. Oh. Okay. My sister did the housework. Come on, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Number six. My parents came home early. My parents came home early. Thank you very much. Number seven. The waiter broke the drink. El verbo que hemos estado, pero dándole duro. ¿Cómo lo pronunciamos again? <laughs> bro, teacher. Bro, we say brought. 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 For the next time, we say the waiter brought the drink. Brought the drink. Hey, okay, thank you very much. Number eight. The boy drew a family. The boy drew a family. Thank you very much. And the last one, Sophia. Uh, they buy new clothes. In this case, I think it is but. But. Uh, do you mean but? Yes, but. Sorry. But. Yeah, because if you say but, it's uh, pero. So be careful. Okay. Bought. So they bought new clothes. Okay, guys. Um, well, so that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for doing your best in these verbs. I understand that it might be a little bit difficult for you to learn a lot of information, right? But as I told you uh, some minutes ago, try to challenge yourself. Make a challenge for yourself and try to learn one verb a day or two verbs a day, see, ¿sí? dos verbos al día o un verbo al día, and that's going to help you to uh, improve, improve your vocabulary, okay? So that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for attending to the class, and see you guys tomorrow at the same time, okay? Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 B